When the U.S. Navy created Tor, a software that enables people to use internet anonymously, it didn't envision someone like Edward Snowden. Quite the opposite, military programmers originally built the software in the mid-1990s to support government spying operations. Last month, a photograph of Snowden, who leaked a trove of secrets about U.S. government surveillance, showed a sticker on his laptop supporting the Tor project, the nonprofit that runs the anonymity network. The image underscored the diverse and sometimes conflicting community of people using and supporting Tor in order to communicate anonymously on the web. Tor, which can be downloaded online, operates like a slower browser because it bounces packets of data across several continents to protect anonymity. Journalists, domestic abuse victims, and dissidents living under repressive regimes use Tor to bypass government censors and to prevent their online movements from being tracked. The U.S. State Department provides funding to the Tor project to promote the freedom to use the internet in other countries. But the anonymizing software has also been exploited by whistleblowers to leak sensitive U.S. government secrets. Though it's unclear whether Snowden used Tor to disclose details about NSA surveillance to reporters, WikiLeaks has undoubtedly taken advantage of the software to protect whistleblowers. Tor's importance to WikiLeaks cannot be understated, affirmed Julian Assange, the WikiLeaks founder, to Rolling Stone magazine in 2010. While some people use Tor to traffic government secrets, criminals exploit Tor to peddle drugs, guns, and murder-for-hire services, hacking tools, and child pornography outside the reach of law enforcement, according to security experts. Furthermore, to make sure that Tor is completely anonymous, it must protect all who are using it, even those whose actions are condemned by the U.S. government, as affirmed by Christopher Sogian, the principal technologist at the American Civil Liberties Union, to the Huffington Post magazine. Sogian also declared that when you create a technology that allows people to communicate anonymously, you don't get to pick which activists use it. If you want a network that's safe for dissidents and journalists, you have to allow the pedophiles too, he added. You have to take the good with the bad.